Ruger Mark IV. When it comes to 22 caliber pistols, you don't get much better than a Ruger Mark IV. The Ruger Standard Model is a 22 long rifle semi-automatic auto-loading pistol designed over 70 years ago. It was designed by Bill Ruger in 1949. Bill Ruger got a couple of Japanese Type 14 Nambu pistols from a returning vet and inspiration would strike. Surprising, right? I always thought the Ruger Standard was based off the German Luger, but hey, the more you know. These pistols would go on to be the most successful semi-automatic 22 on the market. And its latest iteration, the Mark IV, is no exception. Let's take a look at the newest addition to my collection, the Ruger Mark IV Target, and I'll let you know if it's worth its price. This is what it would look like when you bring it home from the store, obviously. If you buy it brand new, you get a nice hard plastic case inside. You get the pistol, a magazine in the pistol, a spare, a gun lock, and then the owner's manual and associated literature is underneath. For all the, the sticker fans out there, there are a few stickers that come with this, so you know, well worth that $500 price tag. So let's take the pistol out, take a closer look. So this is the Mark IV Target, right? So what is the Target variant? So this one has your standard grip angle. This is sort of like a Luger grip angle, I guess you would say. Uh, it comes with an ambidextrous manual safety only a right-handed bolt release here on the right-handed shooter side, so on the left-hand side of the pistol. It has these decent target sights. They're completely blacked out, which I don't mind at all. They are adjustable. And then it is drilled for an optics rail up here, but you would have to buy that separately. It also has the bowl barrel, which is a bit thicker than the standard version, and that's to aid with accuracy over time, right? So this pistol does have a magazine disconnect also as an additional form of safety. So if the magazine is removed, and I'll just make sure this pistol is of course cleared, take the safety off, pistol will not fire. And I don't wanna demonstrate this too much because it is a rim fire, but there you go. All right, while I'm here, let's just show you guys the trigger weight on this pistol. So if I can do this on camera half decently, as you can see right there, just under four and a half pounds. We'll do it once more to make sure that that wasn't a fluke. Reset the trigger gauge and as you can see, same spot, right under four and a half pounds. So, all in all, not a bad trigger on this nice little target gun. The Ruger Mark IV target performed exceptionally well on the range, fellas. I gotta be honest with you, I had a few malfunctions, but I attribute that more to the ammunition than to anything else, right? You run, you know, real doo-doo 22 through a semi-automatic pistol and, you know, results may vary. Now. Should you go out and buy a Ruger Mark IV target? Well, I'm gonna put a little asterisk on this and here's where I'm gonna get all the dislikes. No, at its current price point, right? So the pistol itself is great. Uh, I have no complaints whatsoever. The fit and finish, the accuracy, the reliability, all the superlatives you could name for this pistol are great. But for $500 for what is essentially going to be a range toy, I don't know if I could justify that, fellas. I really don't. I, if you wanted to teach new shooters, it's really good for that, for the basics of fundamental semi-automatic auto-loading pistol shooting. But if you wanted to teach new shooters how to shoot handguns, you can go get a Heritage Rough Rider in 22 for $120 and save $380 on that. I, I just can't justify it at $500. If you can find it cheaper, though, I 100% would recommend it. It's great. The ease of the takedown on the Mark IV models over the past models is great. I, I just, for 500 bucks, I mean, come on. You get a 1022 for half that price. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you guys next time.